so you guys asked for it and here it is the number test slider settings which i have been using of late have been getting amazing results ai has been playing pretty well if you guys haven't checked out why i changed the striker timing values you can check that video out now we'll get on to the number test slider settings and uh, we will discuss about what are the things i changed and the reason behind it okay let's go okay first starting off ai legend striker timing why is it two check that video out Wicket chance is at 40 because I just wanted to see whether lowering the values of wicket chance will give a good game. In fact, it does do that. So basically what happens is if you keep it at 50, you have a balanced experience just like how 50 should be. But I just feel like there should be some kind of difficulty in test match to take a wicket. So that is the reason I kept it at 40, 30 and 20 are like way too uh, you know frustrating because it's like the AI just doesn't want to give you any wicket chance like even the close cause doesn't happen so if you want keep it at 40 or go to 45 50 is fine but try to lower it just to have the test match feel experience because I mean these days team does get out for 200 or less score but you have the capability to bowl well and take wickets with that kind of an experience you can go for 40 or stay at 50 or not me not you 45 okay bowl quality is at 25 i have increased it because i think they have worked on the bowling uh, lines and lengths which has been very consistent and i'm liking the way it is right now so because of that i have uh, made it to 25 you can still bowl i mean have the value at zero it would be fine try to be at 25 if you want to follow what i say or you can try it at 20 or 30 go 5 plus 5 minus that's all now coming on to run rate this one was interesting kunal suggested you know he's been he's a regular in the channel he suggested try it out at 18 and what happened was i played a test match with 18 run rate value and it was really good but I just felt like they were going very slow. Okay, so the first innings I played at 18 where I got really good wickets as well. You know, so that experience was also good. If you guys want, try 18 out for the first innings and see how it goes. Now for the second innings which I played when I was polling, I started that innings with 28. So what happened was they were also scoring boundaries here and there where they got the chance. It's, it was not like they wanted to score regardless of what you bowl. If the ball was loose, only then they hit the ball, which was something which I really liked the way AI played. Again, when even at 28, they were kind of playing slowly at around one to two runs per over initially with the new ball. And later they just increased that run rate to around 2.53, which was a proper test match progression I would say so that way I think 28 works well but if you want to try out try out 18 and see try out 20 25 and check check that range out like that 18 to 28 range you can try the some value and see whether it's something different works or if because if it does try to share that in the comment section so this is the value for AI simple now moving on to the batting batting it's it's similar to what it used to be but you know we'll just have a revision of what we had before so footwork on obviously ball market timing 15 because pace is there early shot late shot zero short timing is at 100 that won't change only thing i think i have changed is from 100 foot placement difficulty have come to 95 so because the footwork assignment is not done properly in the game uh you know the angle and stuff i just felt like i could uh, you know lesser a few values maybe i can even go to 90 if you are someone who is finding it difficult to bat on the difficulty i'm in right now try to reduce this foot placement difficulty especially if you go to 90 or 85 or 80 you will find that the ba batting is a lot better for you a better experience for you because again coming to the same issue of them not assigning the values and the angles of footwork properly because sometimes what happens is if you have to play in the cover region or the point region the game is expecting you 
to have a footwork going to the direction rather than going to mid off or extra cover because you will actually plant your foot in the front and play the shot but the game is asking you to go here so it it kind of sounds ridiculous because it is ridiculous but to get that balance out you have to reduce this value no other go and unless they change the core nothing is going to change so as of now if you want a better experience try to lower the foot placement difficulty which would make the life better and easier for you that is the only thing ball quality and all, all those things are same i think i have not changed anything full toss is at 10 not 20 21 is the default i think but i have it at 10 these values edges values have not changed it works fine this timing window is something i have been playing around with money suggested this and uh, it it's, it's actually pretty interesting to see how it actually is playing out because if you guys uh, don't know what timing window basically is zero is the dbc 14 timing zone the timing window at 100 is basically the new one where you can play late like you can wait for the ball play late so when you have it at 80 or 85 you are basically trying to respond a bit faster than how we are used to so what is happening is there is some kind of alignment happening where the shot and your response and the shot placement everything is coming into a good sync so if that is the thing you want to establish while batting try to play around with the timing window if you are new to this completely and you are not comfortable in it try at 90 or 95 if you are someone who is regular at the game and knows how to play the game then try it out at 85 or 80 don't go below that because 70 is like the baseline something so this is something mani said regarding the timing window which is i think another video which will i don't know when it will happen but hopefully it happens because that is another discussion which was very interesting and i found out that this actually can change lot of things in the batting lot of uh, issues in the batting as well so that is one interesting thing so try it out 85 you should be good with the balance i have 85 works very well so i think for uh, this i have 85 and uh, one days i have 80 yeah something like that okay so these are the values and miss input as you go is no well one thing which changed many people's lives <laughs> that's that's the, that's the slider and skill influence i increased it to 90 uh, because i feel like there is some kind of influence to the skills god knows what it is but we will just say that we know what we are talking about okay <laughs> let's have it at that now coming down to the physics part this is again a main important thing here i have changed the minimum as well because i just want the ai to uh, deceive me with the slower ball as well because basically bowling minimum basically means if you go towards 100 it means slow ball will come really slow so you can get beaten by the pace to a larger extent when you increase the value now coming out to the max pace 80 i am doing well at that i don't know i don't want to change that because the the thing is these both work in sync like three values like timing window then the pace max and the what's it called last one uh the the, the 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 visual speed so those those are in sync is what mani said again that's another discussion which will hopefully happen now that is by 80 okay length 45 bounce spin bounce 45 flight 35 pace bowling swing 85 slightly higher i think it's 81 or something default 85 you can have it at 90 but it feels like exaggerated swing you can work out that as well but not everywhere it's swinging that much these days so 85 fine or 80 if you want to go 95 and all then try to do that only in england conditions maybe that but england you can't really play because it will keep raining there so there's any i don't know whether it will have an effect on the game so that is there revolutions 12 to 14 i think i have changed only that spin bowling drift is 25 revolutions 30 pitch friction so this is another thing i keep playing with so you guys would know that that i am playing around with these values if you guys are regular in the streams and stuff because i am not regular <laughs> so pitch friction pitch bounce 55 55 uh 
ball friction ball bones 45 45 this is the balance 5 year of 5 there added simple now coming on to the visual speed 70 is the default one try to have it at 80 because whatever value you have and the you know the timing window try to be around that range that's what i have come to the conclusion like if you are playing at the default pace not changing anything max pace nothing you are changing maybe you try try the timing window at 60 or 70 you see how it goes because it will rush you up and even though the pace feels like coming floaty in the air the ball will feel like you're, it is you know defeating you so that feel is also something which is very interesting which you can try out as well okay spin bowling visual speed is 70 because flatter trajectory it kind of feels like you are rushed up and that feel is good so i am having it at 70 which is the default i think or it's 50 i don't know but this is what i am having if you want try to increase or decrease whatever you want to do with this because spin bowling it's all about how you play the game how you approach spin bowling that's all because other than that these values basically matter only to the visual aspect of it how you are seeing the ball visually if you are seeing it like a football do whatever you want if you are not seeing it even as an atom then try to change the values and see all right so these are the values umpire setting same thing old ones check it out see all those videos because i keep making these uh, slider setting videos because you guys like it and i also like experimenting with it so why not so we don't know which version of uh, slider setting this is but this is the latest one guys this is the latest made in december 2022 so yeah that is it thank you for watching see you in the next one whatever you want to do press a like comment whatever you want if you want to ask anything comment section if you want to dance go dance if you want to listen to a song go do that if you want to live life enjoy guys see you guys bye bye